Okay, we're inside the last 18 minutes of the Sportsmax Zone for this Friday. We continue uh, with uh, cricket now and uh, the daily updates from the West Indies Championship. Day three action in round four. Stumps now at all the venues. We begin at Sabina Park where the Scorpions are battling the West Indies Academy. Ricardo Chambers is on location. Thank you very much, Lance and Mariah. I tell you what, this is uh, turning out into quite a four-day cricket match. The Jamaica Scorpions have been set 234 for victory by the West Indies Academy, and it sets up a fantastic final day. Well, let's give you a review of what happened on day number three. The Jamaica Scorpions resumed on 326 for seven in their first innings. That was a first innings lead of two runs. They progressed to 372 all out to lead by 48 runs, led by by Pete Salmon, who had resumed overnight on 60 from 157 deliveries. He got to 81, a top score for the Scorpions from 198 deliveries. Talk about patience. We saw a lot of that in his innings. Joshua Bishop, he had three for 85 yesterday. He took all three Scorpions wickets on day number two on day number three to finish with six for 96 career best figures for him. And then the West Indies Academy in their second innings, they got off to a really quick start led by Kadeem Alain with back-to-back -back half centuries in this match. He scored 52 to take them to 69 without loss at lunch. But then after the break, he fell and uh, yeah, for the second time in this contest, going for 52. I tell you something as well. It was a very good knock from him. It came from 41 deliveries. He struck six fours in that knock. Aggressive player is Kadeem Lane. And uh, yeah, I think the West Indies Academy will be quite happy that they brought him back into the team for this encounter. I tell you what, though, he might find himself in a spot of bother because on his dismissal, I think he was suggesting to the umpire that there was some inside edge onto the pad. I'm not sure I heard or saw anything, but I think that may well count as a level one breach. And we'll see what umpire Dayton Butler says and ultimately as well the match referee on that decision. Also batting really well for the West Indies Academy and was an instrumental part of their second innings was uh, Carlin Bowen Tuckett. He made 53 a patient 53 as well he hit six fours in that not no sixes never really tried to hit the ball in the air but he really held the second innings together for the West Indies Academy and uh, got them to that 233 overall lead to set the Scorpions 234 to win let's get the thoughts then of the West Indies Academy captain Naim Young the Barbadian Naim this is turning out into quite a four-day match a set for us the position of this game entering the final day. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, you know, I think we're in a really good position going into day four. Uh, the wicket is, t is tending to go in our favour so far in terms of spinning, having an ambitious squad. So I think we're in a good position. I'm happy where we're at and just about coming back tomorrow and executing to try to win the game. Talk to me about the batting performance of the lads. Kadeem Alain, um, Carlin Tuckett batting very well too. Um, and you showed a lot of aggression right throughout the innings. Yeah, the guys play their role. Um, we know each person's role within the squad. We are, we are a very aggressive young squad, as you can see. And we've done it throughout the tournament. And it's, it's, it's put us in very good positions and it's also put us in very bad positions. But it's necessary we continue to learn from it. It's how we play, so it's how we're going to build our game to go forward in the future. It's just about managing certain moments set to make sure that it, you know it benefits us more than it doesn't um, but yeah very happy how Kadeem started um, did his role excellently um, take away that lead I uh, take away the lead that Jamaica had and to give us a lead and then uh, Colin just holding it in together where, when everyone can um, bat around him aggressively yeah would you consider the way this West Indies Academy team plays as your own style of basketball <laughs> well, I would call it academy ball, but uh, yeah, it's, just, it's just about guys being very clear and very happy about going about their game in, in the way that they want to. We give a lot of freedom as management staff, as the board uh, back home. Um, yeah, we just give guys a lot of freedom to execute how they want to go about it. And it, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a beauty to watch to see how aggressive the boys are. <laughs> it's really good to just sit down and, as a captain sometimes on the balcony just to see the sixes and the fours and the amazing shots that are being played. So it's very entertaining cricket and it puts us in a really good position to win this game. Yeah, all the best come the final day tomorrow. Thank you.
All right, Naim Young, the captain of the West Indies Academy. Let's get into the picture now. Pete Salmon uh, for the Jamaica Scorpions because he's had a very good match. He's picked up three wickets in the second innings uh, for the West Indies Academy. Of course, to go with his 81 with a bat. Pete, how are you doing? And, and talk me through your overall performance. You must be pleased about what you've delivered in this game so far. Um, it's a bittersweet moment, but I must say that I'm... I'm happy with the way I batted because it's, I've been working on my batting for the past three months and the style of play, the style of play as most people would ask accustomed to with me uh, was a bit different than in it. Yeah, three, four, 55 for you in this second innings. Talk to me about how the pitch is playing because it appeared to me that on this third day it was taking a lot more spin than it was previously and generally offering a little bit more to the bowlers. Your thoughts? Yeah, it, 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 it is offering a lot more to the spinners. So come tomorrow, it's going to be challenging, I think. But we, uh, we have the batting capability to chase down 234, so I'm back in my team. Yeah, and, and, and talk to me about the fact that the West Indies Academy got all the way to a 234 lead. Is there a little bit of disappointment in the Scorpions camp? Yeah, I must say some, we were somewhat disappointed because we created our chances and we didn't take them. So hence the reason why the academy ended up getting 234. Well, all the best tomorrow on the final day. Thank you. Yeah, Pete Salmon there for the Jamaica Scorpions. So let me recap quickly the position of this game. West Indies Academy, 324 and 281. The Jamaica Scorpions, 372. They will begin their chase of 234 on tomorrow's fourth and final day. For the final time from this contest at Savannah Park Cricket West Indies four-day championship, Jamaica Scorpions versus West Indies Academy. I'm Ricardo Chambers handing it over over to Lance Whitaker and Mariah Amrak. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ricardo. Excellent wrap there on day three, day three of that match at Sabina Park. Let's turn our attention now to the Queen's Park Oval, where the Windward Islands Volcanoes, resuming on their overnight 68 for two, trailing the Red Force by 35 runs, went on to make 288. Sunil Ambrose top scored with 71, and Jeremy Salazano added 40 to his overnight 30 to end on 70. Jaden Seals with 3 for 45 was the pick of the bowlers. The Red Force set a target of 186 to win, are 10 for 2 at stumps. So they require another 176 to win. At the Sir Frank Worrell Memorial Ground, combined campuses and colleges resuming on 76 for 3. Kieran Otley's pedestrian knock of 99 from 260 balls led them to 301 all out against the Leeward Islands Hurricanes and chasing 316 for victory. The Hurricanes are 15 without loss at Stumps on day three. And uh, that is the story coming from that game. The Hurricanes, as I said, 15 without loss. Mikhail Lewis, six and uh, uh, still at the crease there for the Hurricanes. Let's move on now to the defending champions, the Guyana Harpy Eagles, declaring their second innings on 136 for 8, after bowling out the Barbados Pride for 230 at the Coolidge Cricket Ground in Antigua, Jonathan Drakes led the Pride with a first innings knock of 101 against Niall Smith with 3 for 54. And batting a second time, Barbados Pride are 31 without loss at the close of play. So scores in that match overall, the Harpy Eagles 436 all out and 136 for 8. Barbados Pride 230. And in their second innings, they are... 31 without loss they require 312 runs to win the Barbados Pride that's a tall order on the final day of that match we go to break we'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone well not more a little more because we're about to end the show back in a moment <laughs>